Welcome back, guys, for another segment of Girl Talk, which is going to be almost every Wednesday. As always, my name is Kyra, and I got my other friends here, which are Kimberly, Kalia, Sari, Shanique, and Amaya. And we're going to be talking about disrespectful teens in the 21st century, and how did it change from back then, and why do we think it changed? So who would like to start off this? The first question I want to ask you all, this is Mr. C in the back. Do we all agree that teens in 2017 are a bit more disrespectful than they should be? Yes. yes. Okay. So each one, any one of you can answer this question. Why do you think teens are so disrespectful? Uh, <clears throat> um, I feel like it's because of what the TV shows is like giving us like for example like, people might watch like love and hip-hop or like something like that and i was like oh this looks cool let me do it and that's not they're not realizing it's giving them that mentality of they're it's okay to be disrespectful or like adults like or parents or just their guardians are letting it happen they don't care at all so like they're just like pushing it to the side like oh i can be disrespectful because ain't nobody like correcting me about it i don't care or if somebody do they just don't care because they feel like they're better than everybody else Okay. Who else? Um, I mostly think that some teens are disrespectful because they're looking for attention. If it's either from parents, friends, or other people, they just need that attention on them. So instead of getting it the proper way, they just chose to be disrespectful and to have that attention on them. Anybody else? What about over here? What do you what do you what do you think about the level of disrespect? Do you believe kids are disrespectful these days? What do you think? What do you think? Why do you think kids think it's cool to be disrespectful? Uh, Shanique? I think kids think that it's cool to be disrespectful because they think like maybe they can like control them. Okay. The influence like of their surroundings, probably like somebody in their family or they see one of them doing it and other kids laugh, stuff like that. Mm. Amaya, what about you? What do you? What's your thoughts on it? See, I really don't know, cause I'm not disrespectful. Okay, you may not. Okay, does anybody here think uh, my beautiful queen Amaya is yes. disrespectful? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what, is, what does Amaya do since she doesn't believe she's disrespectful? She, let's educate her. What does she do that you find disrespectful? Well, to me, she loves talking about people. So, so like when we say something back, she will get so offended. But why are you talking about us in the first place? And she gets so mad. Or let, let's say you try to talk to a person, they come sit down. She's like, excuse me, get up. You can't, that's disrespectful. You can't do that. She always is. Always doing this. Is she ever disrespectful to adults? Yes. Teachers? Yes. Okay. yes. Now let's Ooh. talk about that. So we're not going to put my girl Kyra. She's like, who? Look, she's like, who? Why, why are teens, dis why do teens feel that it's okay to be disrespectful toward their teacher? Even if you don't like the person, that's still an adult. They're not your peer. Why do you feel it's okay to clap back at your teacher if you don't like something? Oh, Kalia. I feel like people think it's funny because, you know, talking back at an adult is a big thing and it's really dangerous to do. So when someone sees someone doing it, they think it's pretty funny and cool. Sometimes I think teens do that because well, since it's not their parent or anyone associated and their family members, they won't get into as many trouble as they would. So they just do it for fun. And they're like, you know what? You're not my mom, so I'm going to do whatever I feel like. I'm going to disrespect you, and I don't care what you're going to do or how you're going to feel. I agree. I agree. I agree with both of them. And I feel like it's because they think that they can't put their hands on them. So, like, if a teacher can't put their hands on them, they can't discipline them the right way. All you're going to do is give them the attention, and you're going to make the student mad because they have that. Like, I don't want to be there. So, you're going to make them get an even more, like, an even worse attitude, and they're going to disrespect you even more. So, if you don't put your hands on them like how their parents would, they're not going to put the, they're not going to get in check. So, let me ask you, because once upon a time, if you, you don't may not know that, um, teachers did have that degree of discipline. They couldn't, not everyone can't beat you, but you can get paddled, you can get, you can, you know, you can get touched. Do you think when um, teach, when that power was taken away from the teachers to really be able to discipline a child, and not OD, but, you know, check a child, do you think that contributed to disrespect? Yes, because they're more free. So do you think those rule, that rule should, that was probably not the best thing to do, take that power away from teachers? Well, to be honest, I feel like 
it shouldn't be placed, but it also has an effect. Like, it keeps the students in check. It shouldn't be a place because, like, technically they're not your family. So, like, the, what if the, te- like, the teacher hit the student a wrong way? You'll get in trouble for it because you're not technically their parent. And, like, you're getting them to jail because you technically didn't have the right and you're not the parent. Okay. But the parent has the right because they birthed you. They helped make yeah. you. Okay. So it's like... Uh, yeah. About disrespectful teens, I wouldn't say that every teen is disrespectful. It, de- it depends on where you're born. Because I was born in Haiti, and the teachers, they don't care if they were your parents, your step-parent, your mother, your brother. They don't care. You do something wrong in the classroom, you will get a flog or a beaten with a ruler or a stick or a bamboo or anything. I mean, like... Most kids that are born in the United States are grown up in school thinking that they can't get beatings from teachers, that it's illegal, so they're going to do whatever they want. But if you're raised in another country where you know that it's wrong to do that and you might have consequences, then you'll probably have the better mentality. So, say, so should I understand well, that yeah. all the students that come here from Haiti no, or Guyana, no, since no, they I'm know how real it is in their country, students, they do, nah. oh, so what happens when there's you get here? There's students in this so, stu- there's, there's students in this school like that. Should what happens then, in your opinion? So, um, I'm born in Guyana, um, like, in, like in school Guyana, um, we, if you don't do nothing, like, the teachers, they just come and wake you with like with a fine way for no reason. That happened to me. Um, I was just sitting there paying attention. So he just come, lashed me with my hand to swell up, and I didn't just do like for a few days. Um, Sorry, yes. I don't think it's only the school that like lets the kids feel free to do whatever they want because the parents are like a big part of it. Because a lot of parents just let their kids do whatever they want, whenever they want, so they feel free to do that in school too. Why is this? Because that's very important, because kids are going to do what they're allowed to do. Why do you think some parents these days are so lax in, in allowing them well, that? Maybe it's because it's like the 21st century, and they don't want to act like their parents, because their parents are more strict. They want to be friends with their kids, not a parent. So, like, as you see, most parents, or sometimes the parents don't even speak English. So like they really don't understand what's really going on, or they're not used to it because they're not from this country. Okay. So like when they come here and they see how old the other kids are, they want their kid to be like though, but you're not really paying attention. Like those not how old the kids are. Kids are actually more respectful, but due to the society we live in and social media, making it seem like it's cool to be disrespectful. Mm. So let me ask you: Can somebody give me an example of when you saw a student, not necessarily you know a student from another country, it could be American, just a student being disrespectful? Give me some examples of students being disrespectful oh in school specifically. Uh, Shanique. So I got my cousin. She always be, she always be disrespectful to my like my mom or the teachers. Mm-hmm. I, um. That. Oh yeah, is that she always talk back? Like mm-hmm. she always say the bad words to the teacher. Why um, do you think? Why do you think she does that? Cause the teacher told me that she always be disrespectful. But why do you think your cousin or that person is disrespectful? Cause she always does that at home. I know she does it. Always does it. But why? Why do you think she does it? What's the reason the person is like that? Do you have an idea why she might be that way? Maybe she got it from her sister. Okay, so influenced by an older peer. <laughs> Anybody else? Give me I, an example. I, I do. Okay. Well, I have these three cousins, and you know how, like, if you're, there's three child in a family, one's the oldest, one's the youngest, and the middle child. The middle child. Which is me. The middle child is not so disrespectful, because I'm pretty sure it knows what to do, but the younger child gets treated as a princess or a little prince. Even though that the parent knows the child is disrespectful, it doesn't do the right thing, it's still going to treat the child like it's better. better. And it's going to wind up doing the same thing in school. And the child will be disrespectful in school because the child's parents doesn't even realize how disrespectful the child is. Because the parent spoils yeah. the kid. Kalia, what do you think? You have a scenario or observe someone being disrespectful uh, in, in school towards a teacher and like, you ever ex- experienced that or witnessed it? Yes. Give me an example of a, what you, something you deem disrespectful by a teen to an adult in school. In, uh, in seventh grade, 
Well, my friend's like 13 in seventh grade. And she speaks Mandarin. Or, Mandarin? Yeah, Mandarin. And I only understand a little bit of it. But the teacher told her how she's not doing good and blah, blah, blah. And then she kind of cursed her out in it. Right. Now, let me ask you. Do, do, do children get, do y'all get spankings anymore? Do children get spankings for being disrespectful? Oh, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna come to you. Kyra? Well, you see, some parents lightened up on it because they said since they're getting older, they should know. Mm -hmm. But my mom, if she realized that you did something wrong and it deserves to be, you deserve to get hit, she's gonna hit you. Or if it's like something like not too bad, but you know you did something wrong, she'll just talk to you about it. Like, next time you do, I'm really gonna hurt you. Not hurt you, hurt you, but like, she's gonna like, like tell you, like, before we wrap it up, we're going to wrap it up this first part, we have to run out. Um, one word of advice with regard to teens being disrespectful. Why shouldn't teens be disrespectful? I'm going to come all the way around. Kalia, why shouldn't they be disrespectful? You might get killed. Mm. What goes around comes back around. Because, mm. like, we're the next generation. We're, like, the next people we... They, like, they, the past means us, kind of, to build on to the next generation. That's right. I'm higher. Shanique? That's like what can you see, like what's wrong come like that. Okay, and Sadie? They don't know. Take us out of here, wrap us up. Hi, so um, this was the second episode of Girl Talk. It wasn't that long because stuff's going on, but we're going to do another one and peace. <laughs>